Capricorn, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Thanks for showing up for your love reading. This is for anyone who's a Capricorn sun, moon, or rising. Personally, I think that my moon sign resonates more strongly in love readings um, just because your moon sign is very um, attached to your emotions, how you're feeling. So um, you might want to check that out first. But feel free to check out all three of them if you like, or any combination of them. Maybe sun and moon is the best. But we'll just get started. This is for November 5th through December 5th. I can't believe we're already at the end of the year. And this is for singles um, first, and then we'll do coupled Capricorns. And so for those of you who are somewhere in between, like maybe in an on-again, off-again relationship, where you are um, sometimes together, sometimes you're not, you're sort of a couple, you're sort of not, you might want to watch both. Um, okay, so Capricorns, what do we have for those of you who are single? And for those of you who noticed when I went like this with my hand, we saw that there was the Two of Cups on the bottom. That's a good omen. That is the um, Soulmate card. And then here's another good omen. We've got the Magician card on the bottom. So we'll see how our cards are going to lay out, but not off to a bad start, right? Okay. Single Capricorns, what's coming up for you November 5th through December 5th of 2016? Here we go. Okay. Working really, 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 really hard and maybe not feeling like you have the support system in place um, necessary for you to be able to really engage in a relationship to meet somebody else. So how do we fix it? Just keep working. <laughs> Sorry. That kind of sucks. But maybe that's because all of your hard work is going to pay off in that through work or at a work function, like a happy hour or something after work, you meet the right person. Or maybe you work really, really hard to create the perfect environment for somebody to walk right into your life. Um, so that's okay if work is your focus right now. And that's typical for a Capricorn. You are an earth sign. You're very worried about your day-to-day -day life. What else for Capricorns who are single? Um, you might not be feeling like anybody that you're meeting is anyone that you could really move forward with. But it's saying, you know, look at the bigger picture. And so as you're dating people, as you're meeting people, if that's true, if things are not moving forward as quickly as you like, maybe it's for a reason, right? Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. It says here, this is the card about manifestation, about using the law of attraction to bring into our lives the things that we want. Okay, so really be cautious of your thoughts. Think about what makes you happy. You might want to write those down in a journal or something so that you can attract what it is that you want in a partner into your life. Now, um, what this is cautioning you about is saying some of you are not, maybe you're writing down the things that you want, but you're not feeling the feelings um, that you would feel if you had a partner with those sort of qualities in your life um, at the same time that you're doing it, and that's why it's not working. Or some of you just have so much apathy right now, like you're so just kind of like bummed out about your love life, that it's really hard for you to focus and think about the things that you do want. So maybe a better way to do it is to think about the things you don't want, and then in contrast, on the other side, write down the things that you do want in a partner. Now, we've got a challenge that fell on the floor. It says, you're having a really hard time right now connecting to spirit. And that's okay, because you know what, honestly, there have been some real weird energies the last few weeks, and I think that a lot of us are feeling emotionally depleted and quite apathetic. A lot of signs, not just you. Um, but try to make an effort to pray or to meditate, to connect, to do a chakra meditation, something like that. Um, if you can squeeze that in, because it will be very beneficial for you. Try to connect to your higher self. Oh, that's what we have right here again, a second time. So I think this is very important for you this month, to really connect to divine wisdom, to source, to give you the guidance that you need, but then you also have to be open to receive it, to hear it. And if you don't feel comfortable receiving messages, maybe you need a medium, maybe you need a psychic, maybe you need a tarot card reader to help you out with that. But it says once you can do that, once you can really um, connect to source, you'll be able to see things changing for the better in your love life. So that's fantastic news. Now, what else do we need to know for single Capricorns, November 5th through December 5th? Um, look at your past favorably, okay? Everything that didn't work out was a lesson. It was something that you learned, the same kind of mistakes you're not going to make again, right? Um, 
And also, Capricorns have been getting this a lot, where it's like you're not quite taking the time out to really care for yourself. Now, this could be something as simple as, you know, getting yourself a new outfit, getting your nails done, getting your hair done. But it could also be, you know, with that high priestess there twice, two times in a row, saying that you're not caring for yourself spiritually and emotionally enough. Um, that maybe you're working way too hard, typical Capricorn, right? <laughs> um, it says, don't do things the way that you've always done them. Please, this month, take, you know, take a step back and, and do things a little bit differently. Start caring for yourself because that's really what you need to do. They're saying, this is the honest truth. This is what you need to do. And um, you are doing a good job focusing on the positive but you need to, you know, really, really cherish yourself and really love yourself first so that you can meet this soulmate. Because for some of you that are able to actually do that, to give yourself some care and some love, you could expect this person to show up between November 5th and December 5th. So, I mean, it is a general reading, but for somebody, that's totally going to happen. <laughs> Yay! Now, for Capricorns who are coupled, what do we have? Ooh, having conversations, speaking your truth. It may cause a little bit of chaos, but you don't have to defend yourself because you're right. You know, what you're thinking, what you've observed, what you've noticed is, is the truth. And it may upset the apple cart a little bit as far as your day-to-day -day life goes. Um, and some of you might be breaking up because you've said, you know what, you're just not the person for me and I'm sorry. But... You don't have to defend that choice. That's what this is saying. I think that the other person sees it. Now, for the rest of you, that that's not who you are um, or what you're doing or where you're at, this is saying that um, you could be in denial, some of you, <laughs> that there are things that you need to look at and think about and address and talk about. Um, for others of you, well, first, before we move on from that, how do you do it? How do you observe? Um looking for opportunities to communicate in an emotional way. But for others of you, um, it's about confidence. You just might not be feeling super confident in your relationship. It might be one of these times where you're feeling like a little bit paranoid, wondering um, what your partner's doing and that sort of a thing. But they actually are looking at you with love and joy, and you are the person that they chose to be with. So um, don't be so upset and worried about it, okay? Um, they may not be particularly helpful around the house or things like that. And so maybe your love language is acts of service. And so you're not feeling loved, but actually they do adore you. So that's sort of silly. Um, you've got to figure out what it is that is the way that they express love. Okay. And see if maybe you can recognize that you are being loved and shown love, but you're just not understanding it. You're not interpreting it the same way. Or you need to, maybe that's one of those things that you need to communicate with your partner is, look, I really feel loved when you do this, that, whatever. When you are responsible and, you know, take out the garbage before I ask you to, that really makes me feel loved. Because it makes me feel like you're looking out for my needs, that you're perceiving what I need before I ask. Um, it's not crazy to do that. It's not crazy to explain to your partner the things that you need in order to feel loved. Now, you might be afraid to do that because you don't think they will take it so well because of your past with them. But it's about looking for that opportunity to bring it up in an emotional and loving way that isn't aggressive or complaining. Um, and it's not to say that you're a complainer or anything like that, but this is just needed for some of you in coupled relationships right now. This is another card just saying you really need to turn to spirit, you need to pray, you need to connect that way. It's very important for a lot of Capricorns this month. And then to also have blind optimism and faith that they're going to hear you, um, that you can be happy, and uh, that your partner really does want to be with you and wants to make you happy, okay? Now, again, though, a lot of this stuff about needing to spoil yourself. Capricorns, please get it. You know, like, not all of your money needs to be tied up in your home or in your car or your possessions in your day-to-day -day life. You don't have to save, 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 save. It's okay to splurge on yourself every once in a while to do something that makes you feel good. Um, 
Because ultimately, if you don't, you're going to end up unhappy. And if you're unhappy, then your partner's not going to be happy with you either, right? You're going to be in an unhappy relationship. But that's not to say that, you know, each other, like you're going to, like you rely on each other for happiness. That's totally not the case. Um, but if you can take care of yourself a little bit more, if you can spoil yourself a little bit more, um, put yourself first, then you'll have more confidence in like, You'll be feeling in a better mood. You could expect better sex, more passion this month from your partner. So it's not only an investment in self, but it's also an investment in the relationship. Um, it's not going to make or break you, okay? <laughs> it just isn't. Um, but ultimately, if you don't, you could be a little bit unhappy. So I really, I feel like this has been a message going on and on and on for Capricorns for a while. You just, you really need to take care of yourself first. Okay, do things that make you happy. Spoil yourself a little bit this month. It's going to pay off for you, I promise. Um, last thing, make a wish. Focus on that wish. Using the law of attraction, you're going to get what you want. Okay, so um, good luck, love and light, overall pretty positive, and I will see you soon. Bye.